Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger, and it's time to take a look at the late September patch notes posted by Riot. First, we're going to go ahead and jump right on into Kazik. I'm going to pretend that's how you say that. Um, we'll be really laced at a later date. They're still working on that champion in the public beta arena, or uh, fun stuff there. All right, now we have Rengar. His savagery cooldown has been increased to uh, 8, 7.5, 7, 6.5, and 6 seconds from a 6 seconds at all ranks. So uh, a little bit more of a cooldown at that early game. Um, I think I may have said this in my Rengar build, but I thought that he is a little powerful early game, which then leads to him being kind of uncontrollable late game because of his strong early game. So hopefully this cooldown will kind of make him a little bit more balanced. Then also with his Battle Roar, the damage has been reduced at all ranks and the magic and armor resist bonuses have been reduced on it as well so he doesn't get quite as much there um this should just kind of even him out a little bit more of a, as a champion i don't know why they buffed him the way they did last patch i thought he was actually fine but that's fine we'll see if this kind of puts him back into a position where he probably should be next we have soraka he, she has received her visual upgrades she looks a lot better than she used to she's a pretty old champion and uh it's just kind of nice to see some fresh reworks of some of the older champions as i've said before and uh so we have a new look to soraka also um kind of pay attention to see if there's going to be a lot of soraka mids coming up because of riot's new uh, uh spotlight video for soraka as he showed her as battle rocket in mid so just be prepared to uh deal with that kind of annoying nonsense because she's annoying there Anyways, so next we have Syndra. Lots of changes happening to her in this patch. We have Dark Sphere. The damage is being increased on it at all ranks by 10. The ability power ratio is being increased by 0.1. And the mana cost is being reduced. Um, this is really going to help Dark Sphere out as one of her fun to cast all the time things. Uh, it was costing quite a bit. You were going to have to get a Chalice of Harmony if you even really wanted to use it uh, consistently in lane. And uh, she just wasn't doing the damage that they thought she was going to be doing with all of her abilities, which is going to lead to some of the other things that uh, they did to her, such as her Shattered the Weak. The range has been increased on that, and the missile speed has also been increased. They've improved uh, the Sphere Stun Detection as well, because that also was just not quite right. It, just, it looked like it would hit people, but then not stun. So uh, kind of a fix there. Also with Force of Will, the throw range has been increased on that, so that is also going to help her out in uh, pretty much all areas. And then the Unleashed Power, Ability Power Ratio per Sphere, has been increased by 0 0.05. Uh, kind of a small little buff there, but all these should help round her out. Haven't really seen her played since the first week she came out because she's just not quite up to the snuff when it comes to being on par with all the other AP casters, so uh, a lot of people haven't been playing her. Hopefully this puts her back into uh, the minds of people who bought her, such as me. Uh, maybe I will see if I can work a build out for her, if I can see if something uh, is going to happen with her. Hopefully this will kind of even her out a bit more and she'll be more playable than she was. Um, next we have Xin Zhao, and we have three talent strikes been fixed, and his charge has, uh, slow is now reduced by tenacity. Uh, just some small fixes there, nothing too major. And then finally, we have a new little thing for spectator mode. You can now spectate any game being spectated by a player on your friends list, which could be kind of cool if they are friends with somebody that you're not, and, uh, you just want to watch one of their games that they're watching. Uh, so that's kind of a nifty little thing. Other than that, there's some general stuff that I'm not really going to cover. Just some new particle stuff to Sight Wards and Vision Wards. Uh, updated tooltips for Astro, Gath, Rise, Sona, and just some small lore stuff for Soraka and Warwick. A few other small changes if you want to go ahead and read those. Other than that, so that's pretty much going to round out this patch notes, guys. Let me know what you think of all of the changes. If you think any of these are dumb or stupid or boring or... Blah, blah, blah. I actually think this patch notes, I know it's really short, but I think they uh, hit a couple areas with those two champions that they needed to with Rengar and um, with what's-her-face, uh, Syndra. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much going to take care of this. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. Uh, while I was making that list video, apparently the end didn't get finished recording, and I don't know why. So while I have you here, look at this. It's Borderlands footage. It's because it's from my other channel called Badger and Friends. You guys should go check it out. I'm starting a Borderlands 2 series with a good friend of mine who is an important member of the game station. Um, I am going to be pushing this on my channel a little bit just so I can get some views over there because I'd like it to do decent. And uh, because I think it's cool, and I'll be doing this for a while. I'm going to be posting the next episode tomorrow and there's already one episode up and i will be posting these probably for the next few months really so it'd be awesome if you guys check that out but other than that guys i'll just see all of you in the next build video